Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sam from Rococo and this video is just going to be a short little look at the Rococo smart gloves and some tips and tricks on using your smart gloves with your Rococo smart suit pro. So you don't have to use the smart gloves with a smart suit. You can use them with other mocap suits or, or independently, but we did design the smart gloves to be used with the smart suit pro if you want to. And, and there are some just easy things you can do to make that happen. So, so let's go through that. So first things first, your smart gloves come with two different sets of wires. One uh, is a shorter, wire and then one is a longer wire that is meant to be threaded through your SmartSuit Pro um, and then out to your smart glove. So let's take a look at that process right now. So here I have the smart suit hanging up and usually I do this with the smart suit on the table or on the ground or something. This is the longer wire and I'm basically going to thread this through the sleeve, the right sleeve in this case of the smart suit, out through the end of the sleeve and, and run that wire into the back of the smart suit to a battery pack. So you just unzip your smart suit sleeve, you take the USB-C end of the wire, and then there should be a little hole in the end of the sleeve where you can thread the wire out from the inside of the sleeve, you know, that unzipped portion out uh, to the end of the sleeve. So then I'm just going to, you know, put this wire up uh, through the sleeve, unzip the other portion, I can kind of put it in there, then I'll just zip up my sleeve. Run the USB side of the wire down through the, you know, the back of the smart suit and put it through the little hole at the uh, at the end of, of that area. And then you can run that USB cable up through another little hole that you can thread that wire up through uh, in order to connect to the battery pack. So that's my setup. And I use a dual battery pack uh, from Anchor in order, to, in order to do that. And then we zip it up and it's as easy as that. And now I have the wire coming out of the sleeve and I'm ready to use my smart gloves with my smart suit. So now let's take a look at how to wear your smart gloves while you're already wearing your smart suit. So as I'm sure you know, normally when you're wearing a smart suit, there's a sensor on the hand that records all your hand motion. However, once you put a smart glove on, that sensor is deactivated and, and it doesn't get used anymore. So what we're gonna do is, is actually roll that sensor up and kind of slide it up your forearm a little bit. And so the forearm sensor, which is, which is up at the top, it's still on my forearm, but it's just at the top portion of my forearm. And, and now I can put on my smart glove and I don't have to put it over that hand sensor from the SmartSuit Pro. So I put on my smart glove, my hand sensor is rolled up. You can see my forearm sensor is still on my forearm. And then I can just plug in my wire and there we go. Now I'm wearing my smart gloves, but I don't have to wear them over that hand sensor from the SmartSuit Pro. And th this is really the best way to, to work with your smart gloves if you're planning on using them with the SmartSuit. So another thing to note is that we designed the smart glove uh, port to require a little bit of resistance from the wire. So I know I, I learned you know, my whole technological life, don't force anything you actually need to apply a little bit of pressure when you're plugging in the wire into your smart glove. So I'll, here, I'll, I'll put it in and then you'll hear this little click. And that click lets you know that you've really put in the wire. And and that's it. We, we did that intentionally again to, to have there be a little bit of resistance when you're plugging in the wire because we don't want the wire to get pulled out while you're using your smart gloves. So. You should be aware of that when you're plugging in that wire, uh, there's a little bit of resistance and there's supposed to be a little bit of resistance. So you, you, you kind of just, you just plug it in with a little force. And what I normally do is I, I hold the back of this pack here while I'm plugging it in and I just, you know, click it in. There you go. So the last kind of tip is that I, I use this anchor uh, dual USB battery pack and I just keep it zipped up in the back of my smart suit so I never have to, you know, 
I just plug in the wires and then as soon as I plug in my smart gloves, they're powered. But it, it be, when they're not plugged in, it's not gonna be draining my battery pack, even though it has the USB cables plugged into it because there's nothing on the other side. So I keep this dual battery pack, USB battery pack, zipped into the back of my smart suit at all times, I never take it out. And uh, it, it has a massive charge, so I really never need to charge it. Uh, usually, you know, I'll check to make sure that it's it's got a full charge every once in a while, and I'll charge it then. But but I hardly ever need to charge this battery brick. And I'll, I'll, we'll put a link to this specific model in the uh, description and also on screen. You should be able to follow it. Um, while we generally do recommend a dual battery pack just for ease of use, if you are noticing that there's lag in your smart gloves, it can be because the battery pack you've chosen um, might not be managing the power distribution going out to the two USB cables accurately. You know, sometimes it might lag, and so one glove might seem a little bit of, a little bit slower. If you find that you're you're finding lag with your smart gloves, I would try using separate USB battery packs to power them. Or, I mean, I can't guarantee that this you'll never get lag with this model. I've never had lag with this model, and I would recommend this model highly. But if I did start noticing lag, even with this battery pack, I would just use two separate battery packs to power um, the smart gloves separately, so that so that there's not that power distribution issue that that we've noticed occasionally before. Um, again, you can find all of our recommended battery packs and everything at Rococo.com um, in our support section. And we will put, I will put a link to this pack specifically uh, in the description below. And that is how you wear your smart gloves while you're also using your Rococo SmartSuit Pro. The thing to remember is basically, as soon as your smart gloves are, are um, recognized by Rococo Studio, it's going to turn off that hand sensor from the SmartSuit Pro. So you don't need to use it. And so that's why you roll it up, keep it on the forearm, and so you can put on the gloves properly and, and it doesn't, you don't have to put the gloves on over that sensor. So hopefully this was helpful. Put any questions you have in the comments below and we will definitely get to them. And, and also if you're ever having issues, you can reach out to support at rococo.com and ask questions. Or you can also always book a live demo or a live session with our team and they will run you through the smart gloves and the smart suit and uh, you can ask questions that might pertain to you more directly. So again, hopefully this was helpful. Check back more for more smart suit and smart glove content and uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you, everyone.